things are disappearing at an increasing rate, both animals and cultural sites. 3D scanning is a way to digitally capture the world and make a copy of something. My personal mission is to build technologies to help explore the worlds and the disappearing things around us, whether they're cultural heritage sites, archaeology sites, or the natural world. Even here in Indonesia, I don't think a lot of people have seen the Sumatran rhino. The bars are nice and wide apart, so the, the cameras will be able to look through them. We won't have to see any of the bars, and uh, tarp over the top will keep the cameras dry if it starts raining. Being able to use this scan as an education and outreach tool to get everyone excited about saving this animal is a great use of the technology. We're using a technique for 3D scanning called photogrammetry. We're taking many, many photographs and merging them together to get 3D depth perception. It's because the 3D can't. This is actually the first animal that we've tried to 3D scan. And being the Sumatran rhino, a very important critically endangered animal, is a pretty high bar to set for us. So now we'll get all the super clamps on them. And then we'll mount the cameras and we'll do a focus test the LED lighting. And see what we got. Sounds good. Cool. So doing 3D scan of a live animal is very different than doing a stationary object. With a live animal, it moves. It's changing its 3D geometry enough that you can't just use a single camera. What you have to do is capture all the images that you're going to use to stitch into 3D at once. You big, beautiful animal. Oh, did you hear him? He wants to send something fierce. So the solution is an array of cameras. We put together 18 cameras that are all triggered so they fire exactly at the same millisecond. We can basically freeze time and have all of these images of the rhino at the exact same instant so that we can build these into a 3D model. Don't super worry about exactly where they're set yet. That's pretty good. These cameras are spread approximately equally in three rows, and all of those cameras come back to central boxes, which are triggering each camera at once when we press a single remote. Yep. These ones. 800 kilogram rhino. <laughs> just totally cooperating and doing this crazy dance to get scanned. So beyond just doing a single capture where we freeze the animal in time, we're doing other analysis in video, like animal gait analysis, so we can see how the rhino moves, we can see how its head moves, its leg moves, its tail, its ears. We'll be able to take these scans and actually animate it, so we'll have a rhino that looks photorealistic, that's walking around the way that it actually moves and how its musculature and skin moves with it. I'm actually surprised that the, um, the fur and stuff on the back didn't do us that bad. Leave the posts where they are though. That's his favorite ear scratching post right there too. So once we have this data all processed and our artists clean it up and make it look perfect, the end application here is that we can have a digital copy of this rhino that can be fully articulated, move around in 3D space. So you can put on a headset and stand next to the Sumatran rhino and be one of the few people that have ever been able to do that. Being able to look at it from all sides, being able to walk up and look in the animal's eye creates an emotional connection that's beyond what you can get from a flat video or a photograph. The ultimate application of this will be to bring the rhino to everyone. <laughs>